You guys can hear me, yeah? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, th thank God they gave you the uh, choice for Mickey Mouse. I don't remember getting a choice for when you die. Okay, there we go. I think it's guaranteed on the first, and then it's RNG afterwards. Roll set. So what was the uh, issue? Oh, you know, downloads. Yep, thought so. <laughs> <gasps> Only the most high quality here over at Shrink Sonic. You know, I just remember where I was going with um, Secret of Mana 2 earlier. Yeah, I remember the boss. Because you know the boss here is supposed to be a door. And uh, Secret of Mana 2, you have to fight a fireplace. Like, literally, a Sounds fireplace that doesn't voice. move. The first, thing the, I the first thing I could think of is the uh, uh, Mother 1. Just fucking fight a share. Well, that's like one of the first things you do. And mother one is like fight a doll and furniture. Now, if only that game was actually good and not very dated. <laughs> oh, grind heavy. Because, uh, three words. Look, mounted toy. You played it? I've beaten it. I've got an original Japanese copy there, and I have beaten it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you want the, you want the mother? Okay, here's your, here's your mother. Mother one, motherfuckers. Don't ask me for anything ever again. Bear in mind, the um, localization of the game actually made it a lot easier. Wait, really? Well, they had a run yeah, the run button starters. Yeah, in the Japanese version, you don't have that. So you have to take the slow walk everywhere. <laughs> On the bright side, there are two bugs that can break the game in your favor. Did you get to keep the powerful robot forever? Yes, you can actually. Huh. <clears throat> All you need is to make sure you've got a flea bag in your possession. Of course. What's a flea bag? It literally deposits fleas. Literally a bag full of fleas that you can throw at the enemy to stop them from attacking. Mother one exclusive item, so when you get to the robot boss fight, you can just throw that on them and then just delay the turn to 256. And then the game can't do it anymore, just like the battle goes on, battle ends. Uh, the robot will have a, gra a glitched grapple appearance, but it's still there and you can take it all the way to the final boss fight. Which makes getting up there a lot fucking easier. I should beat Mother 3, because yeah. oh, cause I actually got pretty far in it back when I played it on an emulator. Oh, Mother 3, how far did you go? Hey, welcome back. Sorry about the, uh, sorry about the staff through there. It's hard to remember. Uh, <clears throat> past the underwater section, a little bit past there, and around there is when I stopped. Uh, around Tane Tane Island. Yes. So, around the time you get the, um, mushroom no, trip. Uh, yeah, the mushroom trip. Either that or the... Was that... Is the water place after or before the snowy place? Yeah, after the snowy area. Okay. Like, immediately after it. Oh, uh, should the game stop off again? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's Mickey that's causing that issue, then. Flip note, trust me, you've missed nothing. Share your bit rates with me. I mean, I'd probably feel more... Uh, I'd feel a lot more enthusiastic to play it if it was on an actual something besides emulator. What do you mean? It's Maybe. never coming out. We're never getting it. <laughs> you're 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 fucking right. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe for a GBA classic. Now that's something that's never happening. Oh my god! If they did that. 
I mean, they well, did they, it for. I guess they did it for Star Fox too. They would, they would do that. You knew. I mean, it would fucking sell like a motherfucker. Well, I mean, emulating the GBA is not typical. I mean, they could probably just use the same CPU again. Probably. But I mean, people have been saying oh. Game Boy Classic for a while. Well, but flip, flip. No, that's piracy. You're destroying the industry. Well, I've actually got a copy of Mother 3 complete in box. Uh, oh, damn. Fan, uh, ROM hack or original? Uh, original Japanese version. Nice. I think I got that for £60 about four years ago. Are they pretty rare nowadays? I have no idea. I'll do a Google. I just, saw, Google, a, let me... I just saw a bargain and I went for it. I double checked to make sure the cartridge was legitimate and the second I got back, Confirmation just went after it. Here on Amazon, uh, uh it's not very expensive. I kind of sure because I thought like a bunch of Americans would be importing the game. <laughs> or West. A bunch of people would nice be importing the game. Artificially raising the price of it. Yeah, I'm seeing nine new, uh, 123. 21 used from. Thirty-seven dollars. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. How did we dump the cartridge? Oh, right, we used the GameCube. God, that took forever. Did you use the GameCube to dump it? Yep, use the GameCube to dump a Game Boy Advance game. What are you dumping onto? Uh, a mic an SD card, which was inside the memory card slot. God, that must take a while for it to save. To... Oh, actually, no, it's a GBA ROM. That's not too bad then. Oh no, it still took ages to do it. About what? Well, maybe an hour or two. It's mainly because I had to use a GBA to GameCube link cable. Mm. And um, that thing's uh, data transfer rate is slow. Yeah. Well, I'm also assuming that the data transfer from the GameCube to the memory card is slow as well. Oh, it is. That's what I was thinking more of. I mean, I should have used um, Wood Dumper on my DS, but it wasn't working for some odd reason. <laughs> it kind of sucks not having all my abilities. Yeah, oh, recovery. A... So say that's not a nice way to describe Donald and Goofy, trademark. <laughs> I hear Mickey Mouse come for me now. <laughs> that's why he crashes the game. Stop. Oh, that was really badass, actually. Do you have a drive for him yet? Nope. Nope. I won't probably get one till what I'm supposed to get wisdom for. And of course we lost the blue pajamas. Rest in peace. Yeah. The only thing we got out of that bloody sequence was the UI back. That was it. What uh second best key keyblade in the game? And of course a lot of that's out. Uh I have been to California and Florida Disney Park. And I'm in Australia, so it was quite pricey. I live in Georgia, and I still haven't gone. Uh, when I was one, I was taken to a Disney park, but you know, obviously, that doesn't really count when you're one years old. Mm, never been, never expressed interest. Well, I have seen a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff, you know, like the employee tunnels and whatnot. I mean, I, I like going to Disneyland. I get nostalgic whenever I hear the soundtrack from it. Wait, I think I know. I think I've gone to Orlando. Not, no, not a Disney though, because there's a senior. No, not a senior trip. More of a middle school trip. What are you in Florida for? Uh, I forget. I think it was Universal. There was like we went to one arcade and some other places. It was like a middle school plan thing. 
like Disney, I mean, last... but it's it's a like say, it's a lot of money for me to go. Theme parks aren't for me, really. I love theme parks. Mm. <laughs> no fun allowed. The last theme park I remember hearing about was Action Park in New Jersey, which is like a water slash oh fuck land based theme park. Apparently, it was a death trap. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, yeah, get this. Get him, Mickey. <laughs> it's a soft block. I, I rushed it. <laughs> Sorry, what you gotta do is assert your dominance. <laughs> uh huh. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, I lost all movement in, in my legs. Yeah, drinking and bombing fluids would make that happen. Action Park? What's Action Park? I've never um, heard of it either. It's a theme park up in New Jersey, I believe, and it's basically a death trap. Jesus. Finally, finally, a, a good theme park. I, I think the best, theme park I, the best theme park I've ever been doing is Magic Mountain, Six Flags. I love Six Flags. The one I've gone to the most is Wild Adventures, if you've heard of that. I mean, Action Park had this water slide that had a loop de loop in it. That went How? Out. A fucking loop de loop? How? Yeah. And How here's the it... scary thing it was completely yeah. enclosed. How did it get past the safety inspectors? <laughs> Osha, you fucking this... suck. I was gonna say, uh, Osha, I don't know if they, you know, play nicely in New Jersey, I couldn't tell you. I mean, fuck for all we know, the owner could have bribed him. That should not be illegal. And they also had a go kart that you could modify easily, I think. What, what was it? A paper cup? And then it could go upwards of about 70 to 80 miles an hour? I, that's a feature, man. Not a danger. Does it at least have airbags? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably. No. It doesn't even have seat belts. Please, this isn't for babies, kid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Apparently, it's not, it's not. So that was back when rules weren't as big. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, they were basically non-existent for water parks because that's what it was turning for class star. And yeah, six people have died in that place. If I remember, one of them was like a rope swing over like a large pool of water. Ooh, uh, fuck that they, shit. Basically, what happened is that they died from shock of impact. Yeah, because don't think about the war. Because mm. the water was just way too cold. So, you know, sudden change in temperature would have shocked the body to death. Jesus Christ. I mean, you can find, like, documentaries on everything that happened there on YouTube. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> if it was like that, I would be scared as shit. Okay. All right, kids, who's ready? <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, I'm too much of a baby to ride the dangerous rides anyway. Uh, I can do the dangerous rides, but uh, it takes a toll on the body. There's one ride where I've been. There's only been one ride which I've been scared of when I was on it, which um, was. Uh, the X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's the only ride where I legitimately thought I might die. <laughs> I mean, I have a fear of heights, so basically any, almost any roller coaster gets to me. Well, um, well I've been on. Yo, I'm sorry. I was, I've been on two rides that nearly killed us, and I do mean very nearly. Uh, one was a monorail out of um zoo. It broke down, and uh, the lions were trying to get in. Oh, oh my god. It was, right, it was literally gone right over and went down into their enclosure. I was only a small kid back then when that happened. I would be scared shitless. Big, big kitty. And then at another safari park, um, we had a ride where it was supposed to go up and down and spin. But the up and die down function didn't work, uh, so we just spanned. 
faster than intended, so it was going like what? 70, 80 miles an hour nearly. And the neck brace was not exactly very secure. So that easily, very nearly choked slash crushed the neck. I mean, what's uh, um, the X2? Basically, it's like a, um, you're being held by like a kind of like, um, a backpack. Yeah, but and basically you're being crushed against it by the centrifugal force. No, it actually felt so loose that I thought if I let go, I would have slid off. Ugh. And there was nothing underneath me. <laughs> there it is. Right click. So, ER Apple, you know when I mentioned the Rai had a loop to loop in it for a water slide? Huh. That looks like it could go very bad. I imagine a lot of people got stuck in it more than anything, because again, that's fully enclosed. This, man, this sequel to Beauty and the Beast is pretty fucking lit. Then Sora came out and fought them, fought the, and fought the, uh, fought. Yeah, I remember when the, the war between Mongolians. the European and the Chinese happened. But then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Got it. Everything changed when Disney bought them all and made them fight for it there for its amusement. There we go. We got there in the end. Okay, I figured out the strategy just to confuse me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's oh. the document. Harry, I saw the time. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. <laughs> but yeah, Defunct Lands, that was the documentary I saw flip. Yeah, I should probably watch Defunct Land. I watched a bit of him for a while. So let's see, the fatalities are 19 year old park employee was riding the alpine slide when his car jumped the track and his head struck a rock, it's killing him. Mm. A 15 year old boy drowned in a tidal wave pool. Okay, to be fair, I don't think that's really their fault. I mean, granted, they should have probably had a lifeguard. Oh, yeah, if you ever have like a tidal wave machine, there's always supposed to be a lifeguard so on So if there was no lifeguard or lifeguard was inadequate, then yeah, that's their fault. But... <coughs> oh, 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 shit. What? 27 year old man from Long Island got out of his tipped kayak. While doing so, he stepped on a grate that was either in contact with or came close to a section of live wiring for the underwater fans that somehow became exposed and he suffered a severe electric shock, sending him into cardiac arrest. Oh my fucking god, that's scary. <laughs> Welcome to Disney, guys. <laughs> A happy fun time place. La 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 la. Death Here you go. music to my soul. A fatal heart attack suffered by one visitor was unofficially believed to have been triggered by the shock of the cold water pool beneath the Tarzan swing. The water on the right of the swimming area was 10 to 16 degrees Celsius, while everywhere else was 21 to 27. A uh, second perth up, and then two more people drowned in the tidal wave pool. And really? this place wasn't closed because how? I don't see the problem here. Can I get this first round? <laughs> we need to fucking oh. light the fire. In this teacup, you're not gonna fucking help. Got it. Well, apparently they had just one life call for the entire thing. Yeah, they needed, they needed more. For an entire amusement park, I'd hope so. That was that was labeled as a water park. Oh, I thought you might have needed a double jump for the glide for that one. Nah, you get surprised to get five just in key played. Speaking of which, then you could take it pretty far. <clears throat> Let's say, do you even get anything for getting all these puzzle pieces? Uh, uh, you can put them you all together, you do, yeah.
You don't ever give Donald any power up, power boost. I think we might give him as a one-way trip to the butchers. <laughs> The IRL, do you mean the IRS? Flip nose. <laughs> due, to, due to the fact that it was in real life, it was not because of the death. I imagine, judging from how one enemy spawned, he was probably supposed to be a big enemy, but uh. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time we were supposed to have a. Remember that time we had a boss fight that was just floating buildings? <laughs> I just remembered it, yeah. Oh, we're about to have another and boss then, fight, though. And then VVT posed on everyone. God. Of course. If I ever get around to it, there's some fan art I could try to do. Matthew Boss, VV. <laughs> Give me your protection money or I'll break your kneecaps. Someone save me from the struggle that is life by playing struggle. Oh good, don't worry, String. You're now an astrologian. You got draw. Yay! I'm the best yeah, healer in the game. Are they still looking at the best healer in the game? Uh I believe so, unless they've been unless any unless there's any of the any nerfs inside 4.3. I mean have you been oh god, have you been doing Vargas at all? Cause 4.3 gave them the mobility buff. But unless they change something in 4.31 or 4.36, I wouldn't know. Have you, have you, have you played Pagos at all? Played Pagos? No. I don't fucking play Eureka. I don't blame you. Look, again, three hours grinding for a simple little fucking crystal? Nah, I'm good, fam. This isn't fun, and the weapon... And I do Savage, so the weapons are not fucking worth it. The game crashed, never mind. Yeah. Okay, the game crashed. Yeah. Were we able to save? Uh, Wait, I did you ever remember. save after? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I don't no. think you did. <laughs> I think I did. I think it was a save point after the boss. I mean, worst, co com uh, worst case scenario, we'll have to start using save states. Why aren't you using save states? Why aren't I using save states? <laughs> I didn't even know if the emulator had any. For PCSX2? Yeah, it's got us. It. Why did you say that two streams ago? <laughs> I thought it was obvious. But I'm not smart. Because you always had, because when you hit the games, you always had a no, I'm not safe stating rule. I suppose to be fair, this is a little different from playing a game legit. I mean, you had to get shoes where you weren't your trolls, and you know, I just said remap them. <laughs> I mean, there should be um, hockeys you can either find or maybe even customize. Keep him on rapid fire, I guess. I say, it's all good. Alright then, back to the grind we go. Uh, where is it? Config. <laughs> Probably something like config hockeys.
find it. Oh, here we go. F1. F1, F3. Then if I move. Yeah, it works. <clears throat> well, there we go then. What happened? So F1 is save at free slope, okay, I gotta remember that. I imagine F2 changes the slot number. You better Maybe. keep them far away. You better keep them far away from each other or else you accidentally hit the load when you try to hit the save. I, I can't change. I don't think I can change it. <laughs> Good old Half-Life. Half-Life, does Half-Life get the save state? Is that how that no. works? Yeah, that's basically what you do in Black Mesa. There is auto-saving though. Would you trust auto-saving in a source space game? No, I don't. I always just do it manually. I mean, it could be worse. It could be the PS3 version of Half-Life. I mean, when I say Half-Life, I mean Black Mesa, because Black Mesa is actually good. I was referring to the um, Half-Life 2 port on PS3. There was a port on PS3? Oh yeah, as well as for Team Fortress 2 and Portal. And you can't play Team Fortress 2 online because they broke the netcode. Because Valve didn't do the PS3 version, they handed that to the greatest publisher in the world, Electronic Arts. Bear in mind, you basically have to save state about every five or so minutes, or the audio starts desyncing or crackling, or hell, the game just crashes on a bad day. Remember when EA used to make good games? I remember when EA used to make good bloody programs, not games. <laughs> yeah, fuck the games. They used to make. Oh. Um, they used to make paint programs on the Amiga. And they were pretty much the best you could get on the system. Hmm. Trying to think, was it Deluxe Paint? Let me have a look. Yeah, deluxe paint. I, don't, I feel really bad for the developers of EA, or the the, get the workers of EA. Uh, well, this is the. Example screenshot you've got of the program. And. Oops. Bear in mind that's running on 33 year old hardware. Time to draw. Goddamn Spire. Redraw. Ooh, we're fucked this game. See, when was the release date for this? Oh, uh, also, I remember uh, Zestrian ever string. One time, Zestrian asked me to make Yu Gi Oh macros for my Astrologian cards. Did you? Yeah, I had the every time I played them, I played Don Danger Bongo. Cool, game loaded this time. Who are you gonna be, a beast? Oh, okay, Not this is the door. I'll say it earlier. An emotional one. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there's the door. <laughs> Just going out for a walk. Don't worry, he can't move. He also has absolutely no HP. <laughs> well, you see, I was going to redecorate this wing, and I thought, you know what? Doors were just too evil and dark looking, so I swapped um, it out with this guy from China. Can you beat him? Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Also, nice to see he has no back masking. Although, obviously, he doesn't have it because he wasn't meant to be seen from behind. No. You're right, though. <laughs> Come out! <laughs> now the boss. <laughs> and then the door just falls on Sora. Game over. Cool, we got base now.
Whoa, it was weird. I imagined that it was a door. <laughs> Is that the door to the light? Yeah, November 1985. Yep, skills are randomized. Except for get bonuses. Get bonuses, I don't think are. I only level up skills. <laughs> Look at all this useful shit you can't have. I mean, it's a good thing uh, Donald and Goofy never mean fucking shit besides helping Sora use his skills. You know, God, for <laughs> God forbid you get to a section where they're supposed to spawn a lot of, okay, guaranteed a thousand heart lists, but... Yeah, we don't know where that's going to be yet. Uh, uh, maybe this, a train, because uh, God damn, take, he's a I'm just going to take all your items. <laughs> your stuff is not my stuff. Ooh, this is a pretty flower. Where'd you get it, nerd? Thank you. A little tip for anyone who plays Hearts, you can take the items of all your party members. Oh man, a lollipop. I love pink flavored lollipops. Eat the flower. Is this why we turn an order limit off? Also, despite the, yeah, despite the fact here, key items are randomized, luckily they do not matter. This train is bound for Apple's home. The next stop is unknown. I don't want to play O5S. Screen, when are you going to beat that fight? Never. It's dead. <laughs> Thank you, beast. Too bad his levels mean shit because it's the only time you ever use them. Uh, string, why are you standing around? Normally, the chandelier slash dark one, which has two phases, by the way, so that's gonna be interesting. Wait, so wait, what the fuck happens then? Uh, either a different boss during the second phase, or the same boss with some sort of different stipulation. We gotta find out. I mean, we've already had one of the super bosses, so you know, expectations are high. <laughs> oh, look at that, the second phase is lingering will. Oh god, the samurais. 
Oh, there you go. Yes, I'm going. I'm going to save point. Save point and a oh. save state helps to be cautious. Yeah. God forbid speedrun strats that destroyed the game. Um, it just crashed again, didn't it? So what was that about safe stating? Hey, string, did, did did you save? I did. Okay. Okay, freaking thing. Something I don't know why that does that. Actually, if I just load the state, it should still have the code in, shouldn't it? It should do, yeah, because it's still in memory. Oh, fuck me. Um. No, I, I, I actually saved it. I know I did. I saved it at the beast. But I manually saved the beast thing. Why didn't it save it normally? Experiment, what the fuck did you just put into the chat? Oh, um, that was one of EA's first ever digital programs. Oh. Been sitting there for a while now. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't check the chat very often. Stream is fucking dead. This program is anyway. Did he just crash again? I don't know why it keeps doing that. The game's still running. Just doesn't want to play today, it seems. I hate string way, I didn't mean it. <laughs>
Let's try this again. So, does this mean, does this mean we can finally set up a so soundboard for uh, when the game crashes? Okay. I might just do that. This controller is a piece of crap. Yeah. I'm gonna say, it keeps it. Yeah, it's actually getting hard anyways. Still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. I mean, we keep having to go to the same room because this game crashes so much. Uh, my left for did two with every single mod. My left for did two file with every with every single mod I have running runs better than this. <laughs> all the Neko Para mods, all the anime girls. Well, I mean. Oh, fuff. She alright? Yeah, I'm just messing with something though, it's not playing ball. I think it's a good one, it's not like, I know it's not been the greatest. But every an random enemy is a random boss. <laughs> I'm sure someone can do that at some point. Yeah, I've been saving every room now, man. As soon as I enter a new room, I'm saving. I'm just testing the hitting the F1, though. Which I think is great to save today. There we go, I fixed it. Did you fix the emulator? Well, I fixed the emulator. Awesome. Uh, I'll see you guys later. It's late for me, I gotta go. Fair enough, man. Alright then. Later, Apple. Have a good night, man. Awesome. Alright, it's a 99 tomorrow, so fuck my life. That's okay, I'm gonna be in the stream soon anyway. As soon as I beat this one, I'm in the stream, so. I'm gonna be in the stream for two hours. But I got nothing, I got, I got other things we gotta do today. So happy once I get queue up. Oh yeah, I imagine a lot of fucking issues will be um gone once that's sorted out. I'm the very conservative lines. Always have been, always will.
Well, at least you managed to save. I'm safe sitting anyway. Just in case. Pretty much. There's a game crashing between rooms. Oh, that. Remember, just it's crashed. It's, it's crashed when we've tried to get into another room. Remember, when we did try to get to Sephiroth last night. Oh right, yeah. If I go out into the shop, it crashes the game and I don't want to test it again. <laughs> oh, that was a bad. Oh, okay. There we go. We're at that level. Might as well have some fun with it. Okay, next code. Final boss. Of the world. Let's do this. Uh, where is it? Be Shadowstalker and Darkborn. Now you guess, what could it be? Um. I don't know, maybe an inanimate object? I hope. Oh, oh no. Oh, what have we got? No. Uh, oh, oh no. The million dollar question is, is this his original fight, or is this one of the optional ones? I mean, it's the same thing, just one time, one has more HP than the other. Let's go. Oh, so I can't remember if this guy is from Chain of Memories, or from this game. Chain of Memories, but he has a boss fight in this game too, the final mix. Yeah, I was, that's what I remember, is he one of the optional ones? Yeah, he's one of the optional ones. Like so, just thought if this is programmed to have two phases, wouldn't that mean either this boss will cancel that out or do we get another boss on top of it? I pick another one. Oh dear, double trouble. Oh, come on, so close. <laughs> So do, do you have to finish bosses off combos in this game? Yep. So I'm guessing we just gotta wait for a certain frame then and then we can. He was basically go powering up. I've hit him so much that he's just powering up. Because this guy's meant to have a whole lot more HP and he powers up at a percentage range. Uh, when I see he's playing catch up. Yeah. Okay. Got him. First try. I'm good at video games. Right? Oh, so there was a Oh, one. okay. I guess we can do two fights now. Oh, it's the um, Timeless River variant. And Hainer. 
Oh, what? right, because Hainer is... I must have put it. Okay, I get it. I meant to go up to Hainer. If I kill Hainer, then he dies. Then he uh, ends. How the fuck does... Oh, is this like where Hainer's supposed to be original? Well, in, um, in Timeless... Yeah, because in Timeless River, you fight these two together. You're supposed to use the classic one as like an object, aren't you? Wait. No, I have to kill Pete. Never mind. Well, you know, it's not personal, just, you know, kill them both. <laughs> I knew he was a villain all along. And then Pete was erased from existence and, and nothing of value was lost. And we got fire. Oh, yay. But that's not cure, though. No, it's not. Oh yeah. And now we got one of the food. Oh lovely. Uh, poo break? Pretty much. Why not? I'll, I'll finish the stream off with poo. End it on a low note. I do like the field theme though. Which for uh, out of this place? Yeah. It's got it makes me nostalgic. So what do we got? Drive recovery. Dense gem. What's in the big chest? Something nice, maybe. Okay. Oh Well. You've got a dry form. I now have to go through every world and check every chest I may have missed. <laughs> uh, do we oh, need my... the other form? And my dry form gets boosted up too. Yeah. <laughs> so can we technically use this right now? Uh, not in here, no. But we can use another. We can use other worlds. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, what if he locked all the dry form behind Winnie the Pooh? <gasps> oh, oh, that would be a dick move. <laughs> There's no one fucking likes this place. Well, apart from maybe Elliot or Matt, but, well, that's them, so... Well, let's see if we can use this bad boy, then. The options are uh, in It white, depends, so because um... you don't usually go for proof, proof of speed run. So I'm interested to see. Because this was built for speedruns. I mean, look, we've got the Oblivion Keyblade, we've got Master Form. I mean, we're pretty much ready for Endgame right now. I have not seen Christopher Robin, no. Uh, I haven't, and I've got no interest in it personally. I heard it was alright, but I'm not really that interested in going to see it. I can't remember, I used to be able to do something, I don't know, beginning with an M, ended in an R. Must do something or other. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, it's like, tells you to get summoned. Oh, right, yeah, summons are a thing. Now, I'm gonna save and see if the randomized things are willing to If not, I'm gonna leave it and stick to the intended route, but I wanna check, see it anyway. I mean, we've got save states, we can save the game, we can Pretty much, break yeah. off the path for a bit of fun. Pretty much. I mean, if nothing to just satisfy one's curiosity. Because haven't we got like a load of pages for this already? Yeah. 
three, I think. Tranquil gem? Okay, it's still been randomized. But then that could mean the other ones could be absolutely f***ing anywhere. Uh, does this version have a check of how many chests are open in a certain world? Yeah, it does. Journal. Okay, then. You know how this puzzles. Treasures. I missed three in base, I know what they are. Because I didn't think drive forms could be locked behind treasure chest. Oh. Where are you, Piglet? I forgot they are. Wait, who are we looking for, Squish? <laughs> you know, we want to try to win Squish them. Oh, this reminds me of those old um, games you used to be able to play on the Skybox back in the day. This reminds me of like, an old Flash game I used to play on like, CoolMaps.com mm. at primary school. Oh my god, that's going back. Yeah, I know. Do you remember cool mess games? Going back a long time, yeah. I used to just mess with them for shits and giggles if we weren't going into Google and just looking for the actual file names of the Flash games to bypass the um, whitelist. But now, um, there's a TV service over in the UK called Sky. Yeah. It's like basically the equivalent of Tivo, and a long time ago they used to do games for the box. Yeah, we have a thing called Foxtel that does the same thing. It's probably the exact same thing then. Yeah, Foxtel's our equivalent of it. Because we had like this Bumblebee game, which is pretty much similar to this. Um, one where you acted like Puzzle Bobble, and there was a good version of Battleship on there for some reason. <laughs> The one thing I remember is an old soccer game where you have to shoot for a goal. I don't remember that one. That might have been after but, all the time. It might have been just exclusive to you. Yeah, probably. I mean, it was the equivalent of trying to, of like a GPA probably had more processing power to use at that time. Probably. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if they were still using the Z80 processors. They still do games, I just didn't play on them because, you know... Well, who the I fuck don't... would play them nowadays? Exactly. Unless I felt really daring and decided, let's, start, let's go and live stream some of them. <laughs> you know what? I might actually just do that one day. I mean, if we can find a way of doing it, or hell, even emulate it, I'll be down oh, for I it. Oh, I could. It's, I, I'd be able to find a way of doing it. I just have to bring my laptop and then just poke up a capture card. I doubt, there there are six, I doubt they're at 60 FPS, so I don't think it's going to matter that it's a 30 FPS. Oh, I doubt, I doubt they go anywhere near 30. Uh, save here. I remember their frame rates being jank. Energy shard. Mega reefer. What's in here? Yeah, this is all randomized. <laughs> What do we win? Unless Anson decides oh. to come to win the poo, I doubt it's him. You know, I'm too busy pulling people's hearts off for shit because I'm going to visit this world with lovely cuddly I, animals and I just have three stare pieces at them. footnote. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, Sora. Okay, Sora. Um, you can have fun. I want to play too. Get shoved into rock. So, let's tweak this randomizer and let's throw in um, Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby. <laughs> this bit always like confused me with how much budget they put into it. It's surprisingly really detailed. For a minigame mode in a series I doubt a lot of people like to play. Well, for Winnie the Pooh anyway. It had more budget than Atlantica did. Atlantica had a budget. Exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if the songs they just found were like discarded from, I don't know, 
old Disney World shows, and it was you just mean, like get the voice actors in on the phone. They only just paid for two of the big ones; the rest were just made. <laughs> Oh no, apparently, apparently one of Jacob Wood is meant to come back in, uh, 3. Oh. Also, Lovely. also, uh, there is gonna be songs from Frozen in the in the game, we know that much. Well, I know what I'll be doing during that segment, hitting the fucking mute button. There'll probably be a three minute Let It Go music video. <laughs> Which you can watch now exclusively at Disney.com. Sora. <laughs> Sora. I don't think so the randomizer uh, tested this part. Yeah, think? <laughs> Just imagine all the words to let it go, but replaced with Sora, Donald, Goofy. There now. There we go. So Sora's like, there's breaks on this thing, right? And Pooh's like, what the hell's a break? Okay, uh... Now... I still got one more, I think. Yeah, you said you have break. Yeah, when I went to Disneyland in... No, Disneyland in... What year did Frozen come out? Um... 2013, I'm guessing? Probably 2014 I went then. They had a whole like section dedicated to Frozen. Yeah, I've never watched the movie and um, by all accounts of it, it sounds like I'm doing myself a great service by not doing it. Look, I, look, I think it's a really good movie. Yeah. No way near as like what people were saying though. Ah, uh, overhyped to hell. Got ya. Pretty much. I was a fan of the Aura from Plus. Yeah, because we didn't have enough of this stuff. And an Aura Calcum. Well, there's only say, uh, six of six or seven of them in the whole game. And they're meant to be the hardest uh, items to get because you're meant to use them to make Ultimate Keyblade. And how many have we found so far? Two. Which you're not really supposed to find one until post game. So, theoretically speaking, if we were to get all six early on, we could just disable the code, go to a shop, and basically make the Ultimate Keyblade. Well, here's the thing. I haven't tested the Moogle Shop since Hollow Bastion, so it could be fixed. I'll text in a second, actually. Just remember to save beforehand. Yeah, I don't worry. I, I will. <laughs> Wait, do you really want to redo this shit? I've been saved in the entire time. Oh, we should be alright, then. At least you can resume easier now instead of having to Reboot the emulator and add in every code under the bloody sun. Pretty much. Okay, then we'll go. Okay, I'm saving normally. And I'll save through safe state as well. Alright, we'll go to Beast Castle and see if the Google Shop works. It's totally gonna crash, but we'll see. So. Oh, the Colosseum. Not yet. Not... Uh, I just hope they change it up for Kingdom Hearts 3, because it's been the same no, shit. I can, I can, I can, I can shop. Okay, it must have just been Hollow Bastion then. Maybe. I assume maybe I thought I had items I shouldn't have or something like that. Also, oh my god, it's gonna be a lot of shit. <laughs> Or maybe it wasn't supposed to be open when we first went. No, it's supposed to be open. Well, I get, I would have got a lot of shit then. Power boost. Defense boost. Magic boost. Power boost. APG. Wait. So now I got muscle. So we basically. We may as well test that puppy out. Yeah, I gotta give it a keyblade. There you go. Actually, I'm curious. Does is Master Form's abilities randomized? Well, what does it have normally? Uh, okay, let's have a look. 
no, it looks normal. But I do want that aerial dodge, so I am going to actually do some grinding off screen of Master Form. Because I want that aerial recovery. But let's have a test right now. Okay, survey says it's working. It's working pretty well. Wow, winning the food was actually useful for once. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever say that in my lifetime. You were holding out on me till now. I just imagine he can actually just interact with the real world just by slipping his hand out of the book and it just pops out like a 2D form. Like it's made out of paper and just like grab the master form from somewhere and just sliver it away with it. When do you normally get Master Form? It's not until... Not until Hollow what? Bastion's second visit, right after Tron Legacy. Right after Tron. So I was thinking, was it around Tron slash Radiant Garden? Well, it's the middle of Tron. When, when you take that break for a second, they go, uh, stop keeping Mickey. Ah, I know where you mean. And you find out about Anthem and... Oh yeah, you'll be able to go to the um, chamber, won't you, in this version? Uh, no, not Final Mix. Or at least get the cutscene, at least. Yeah, I'll, oh, get, the, no, I'll get the cutscene, but I won't be able to visit it. Here are the three chests I was missing earlier. Oh, oh, let's... Yeah, I really want to yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do some grinding off scene to get aerial dodge, because that is really a good thing to get. Especially this early in the game, my god. You know, it's funny how we were struggling, and now we've pretty much just got end game equipment. No, yeah, until I get Q, I'm still gonna struggle. Yeah, but what if we just jump straight to Kiraga? Good point. I am curious when we are gonna get Q, though. Last chest, last um, chest in the um. Oh, what's the name of the world called? The castle that was never built. Castle that was that never was. The world that never was. That was it. Yeah. Okay, let's save. Thank you everyone for joining in. Oh, it'll be pretty good progress today, actually. And I'll be back on tomorrow around the same time. Thank you, Experian, for joining right. me too. Oh, no problem. Right. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow.